Good morning and happy Sunday. And yes, today is actually Sunday for me. I had a huge weekend this weekend. Had a nice big event that we do to support Autism Project of Palm Beach County every year. It's a nice big auction. I had about 215 guests. Uh, we hope to raise around $100,000. So it was a big event. We had a great time. So I didn't get a chance to do a lot in my garden this week. But I am making some special pork short ribs tonight with mashed potatoes and I thought, ooh, wouldn't it be great to have some carrots to go with it? So the one thing I'm gonna do this morning is I'm gonna go pull on some of those carrots and see what's up. Otherwise, I'll take a quick look and show you what's happened over the week. Not much, it was pretty quiet. Yeah, so let's take a look. Here the bucket of love is just doing great when you look deep down into it. It's just so much growth, so that's just wonderful. Potato plants. They're getting kind of heavy, leaning kind of over. So, can't wait to have fun with that. The carrots, these are the carrots. They're looking nice and strong. So we're gonna give them a pull. Uh, the cabbage is actually continuing to grow. Still don't know if I'll get any heads off of it. I have now officially stopped buying lettuce from the store and I'm eating off of my kale. Celery stalks definitely are getting much thicker and actually looking like celery stalks now. So I'm excited. The peas are going. Is it, oh, look at that. Almost touching the fence. Just needs a little bit longer. The cherry tomatoes in the vertical garden are right here. So we've actually got tomatoes on there. So that's fun and exciting. And this is completely dry. While this part is completely moist so call that an issue with the garden my spinach plants three of them beautiful lettuce other tomatoes are going nice and strong we got the cage on there so they'll have something to cling to uh, the pepper plants I did spray them this week I forgot what this was supposed to be called but yeah, they has got these little burn marks. It's a little fungus or fly. Oh, look at that little fly. With that. Anyway, so I'll put another spray of that on there. But they're getting taller. I did have four or five Roma tomatoes, and now I only have two. And I'm noticing that it looks like something has been crawling up the vine. So I'm going to blame that probably on a mouse or a rat and not... Uh, not the squirrels, but I noticed that I hadn't had any ripe cherry tomatoes in a while. There's two that are starting to ripen. So fun! But that's not the exciting part for today. Oh! Uh-oh. Yep, something's been in here digging in the tomatoes. I wonder why they do that. What is it that they want in the bottom of the pot? quite ready. Although, according to my timeline, they should have been ready a long time ago. Pull one more and see what
they're still babies, so I'm gonna leave them alone. But that's what they look like now. So we'll leave them and see if they get any bigger. Not sure that's enough for dinner. <laughs> so, all right, so thanks for stopping by. It was a short one this week. Make sure to come back next week and see what I've done in my garden and help me watch my garden grow. We'll see you real soon. <laughs>